This is How to Crochet an Octopus Part 3. This time I'm going to add a single crochet into the first stitch, and then I'm going to move my stitch marker to mark the beginning of my row, and then I'm going to add a second single crochet into the same stitch. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into the next one, and I'm going to repeat two in one, and then one in the next, all the way around. So this one is stitches four and five, six will be by itself, seven, eight in one stitch, and then nine by itself. If you're a pattern person, um, this is the third row, so your repeats are going to be multiples of three. So every single stitch that's by itself is going to be a multiple of three. That's how I remember my stitch counts because at the end of row three, because it's the third row and I was working in multiples of three, I started with six. Six times three is 18. So I need to have 18 stitches for my final stitch count. But if you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them every single day on my page. And here's the written pattern.